Okay then. It looks like we're getting ready for the playoffs. They're this weekend, starting this Saturday. And the AFC with the Titans in the first seat, followed by the Chiefs, the Bills, and the Bengals, which was the order I predicted for the divisions. What I didn't expect, expect was the Patriots losing to the Dolphins to drop from five to six. The Raiders and the Chargers, the Raiders beating the Chargers instead of time because the Chargers head coach was a dumbass. So the Chargers went from, I think they were out to fifth, so eight to five. And the Steelers, because the Colts lost to the Jags, had to ruin the entire thing and send the Steelers to the playoffs. Even though only one team in Pro Conference gets a bye week, the Chiefs have a physical bye week. Because there's, I'm trying to figure out what the Steelers can do different than what they did last, like three weeks ago. In any case, Titans got the bye. Steelers are going to Kansas City again. And I see a loss for them again. They'll probably put up a better fight than they did the last time, but I got the Chiefs. Ah, oh, for the love of all that's holy Chiefs, do not let the Steelers beat you. Because if the Steelers win, we're never going to hear the end of it. But they'll play the Titans. And I'm pretty sure the Titans will want them again. But I got the Chiefs over the Steelers. Um... Patriots are going to Buffalo again. Last time they went, it was real windy. All they did was run the ball. Mac Jones threw the ball three times. He was two or three. The way Mac Jones has been playing recently, though, I got the Bills this time. Again, I mean, I had them the last time. But I got the Bills. They're not going to let Patriots come into Buffalo again and do what they did. Because you know it's going to be windy. The way that stadium is, you know it's going to be windy. So, yeah, that is going to be a win for Buffalo. They'll move on. And here we have the toss-up between the Raiders and the Bengals. Oh, boy. This one's a toss-up, but the edge is with the Bengals. Here's the thing. From what I read, the Bengals can't get past the wild card round, and they haven't been able to in 30 years. They might have a better shot this time, but we have to remember the Bengals were a good team when they had Andy Dalton when they were going to the playoffs. The Bengals could get it. I mean, that Burrow Chase connection, but we don't know how that's going to go. We have the Raiders, and it's like, are they going to be good, or are they going to be bad? We don't know. That's why I say it's a toss-up between this game. But I got the Bengals with the edge. So pretty much the wild card teams are out. And we'll have the Bengals versus the Titans, and the Bills versus the Chiefs. Or... We'll have the Titans versus the Raiders and the Bills versus the Chiefs. Chiefs and Bills do not mess this up. Because if the Chiefs lose, you're in trouble, Chiefs. Because that contract you gave Mahomes, and are you going to be able to keep some of your players? And then the Bills. You're going to really let a rookie quarterback come back into your stadium and beat and knock y'all out? I don't care about the Raiders Bengals game. That game can go either way. The Chiefs and Bills? Don't, don't. Don't mess that up. NFC. 
The Packers are on up after bye week. So we got the Eagles versus the Buccaneers, the 49ers and the Cowboys, and the Cardinals versus the Rams. Oy. Um, okay, so I didn't expect the Cardinals to lose to the Seahawks. And I didn't expect the Rams to lose to the 49ers. Granted, I'm glad the 49ers did win in the end simply because the Saints would have been a wasted spot. Let's go from the top. Eagles and the Buccaneers. Now, they have already played each other earlier when they were in Philly. And the Eagles almost came back and got the win because they realized late into the game they can run the ball. It's going to be an interesting game this time. I got the Eagles on the upset. And, <laughs> yep, I got the Eagles in the upset. Because, honestly speaking, I don't know how well they do with a team like this. The Eagles just have to limit the drops. Hurt, Jalen Hurts has to come in, keep his head, and defenses need to do their thing. Knock out the Buccaneers. Now we got the 49ers and the Cowboys, and it's like, oi, how's this going to go? This could be a 50-50. This is a 50-50 game. It can go either way. As much as I like the memes, I got the Cowboys on this one with the edge. They just, gotta need, they just need to keep their offense. They need to get it going. They can't fall apart. They can't start slow. They can't struggle like they did in certain games. Like in these games when they put up 50 points against Washington and, and the Eagles. You, need to, you, need, you don't have to drop 50, but you need to come out strong with your offense. We know your defense can do the job. Your offense needs to do it too. And then we got the Cardinals and the Rams. Honestly speaking, I did not want the Cardinals and the Rams to go against each other because I like Kyler Murray. And I want Odell to succeed with L.A. Here's the problem. Kyler Murray can at least keep it together. You, I can't trust Matt Stafford. So I got the Cardinals beating the Rams. So that being said... That would mean the Eagles go to Green Bay and the Cowboys host the Cardinals again. Or the 49ers go to the Cardinals. Which would be an interesting uh, thing because it's like you have to play your division rivals three times. So it would be interesting to see how this goes. It's going to, I mean, granted though, the Eagles have the longest shot because they have to go to the Tampa Bay. And there's, there's, I just had this feeling that there's no way they're going to let the Eagles beat Tampa Bay because Tom Brady. I don't know. It, it'll be an interesting weekend. But this, now this begs the question for some teams for the Eagles and Cardinals. We'll stick with the NSC. How is the media going to treat some of these guys? Because if the Eagles lose, they're going to question Jalen Hurts' They're going to question Jalen Hurts like if he's good. They're not going to say anything bad about Tom Brady. They'll make up excuses left, right, and center for him. But if the Eagles lose, they're going to be talking about, oh, Jalen Hurts couldn't do this. His style of play is not good and all that. Same thing with Kyler Murray, if the Cardinals lose. If the, if, if the Cowboys lose, they'll just talk about Dak was given this contract. The Cowboys, they did all this just to get knocked down the first round. And it's like, I don't know. The 49ers, they'll just be like Garoppolo. He needs to go start, the, start Trey Lance. 
in the Rams. This is the biggest one for the Rams. Matt Stafford is 0-3 in the playoffs. But people excused it because he was with the Lions. But my thing about that is at that time, only six teams could go per conference. Which meant that there were, since there's 16 teams per conference, and you went to the playoffs, that means you were of the better half of your conference. And you can't tell me that you weren't good enough. That, I mean, that more than half the teams, the times you went to the playoffs, were so bad you could get in. You had to have a winning record at times. So here's my thing. If the Rams lose to the Cardinals, what's the excuse for Matt Stafford? He had a good, he has a great defense. He has a good receiving core. What's his excuse if the Rams lose? Because we saw what happened to the 49ers. That should have been a game y'all won. But he's forcing passes. Pick sixes. And it's like, how can you trust the Rams' offense when the quarterback is not doing work for you? I don't know. Then we go to the AFC. And my question is, some for some of these quarterbacks, it's going to be the first time in the playoffs. One of us is a rookie. So... My question is, are some of these quarterbacks going to get the Lamar Jackson treatment? I think it's be better off in another video. I'll end it here.